Alrighty guys, hi, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Danny, and we already know what we're here for, we're here for to do our vision boards, so I'm not gonna lie, this is like the third vision board I am doing for this year, um, I did one before the year ended, last year, with my homegirls, we, it was really nice, we ended up uh, getting a room for us and so we can just have a girls night and no kids no men no distractions it was just good vibes um good eats and we was just vibing out doing our vision boards then the second time i did it i did it with z you guys all know z um i went to her house and we just reprinted some stuff out that we wanted to do um and add on to our vision board so we were able to do that and then this is the third time i'm doing it with you guys for you guys with you guys you can join in um and re-watch this video again and just do it as i do it too um so yeah i am going to do my vision board so if you're interested stay tuned and keep on watching I got a couple of supplies. Um, I got a couple of items. The first item is gonna be my journal. Um, and if I'm getting and if I'm zooming in and out, I'm sorry, it's because my camera is like zooming in and out. Um, but yeah, so it's my journal. So I got my journal right here, and I got obviously my board. No, it's gonna be white balanced. <laughs> Um, I got my board right there and then from Dollar Tree I just picked up a couple of supplies you know to do your vision board you don't really got to go all out if you want to you can but like honestly if you go to the Dollar Tree store you spend under ten dollars and you get all the supplies you need so I was able to buy um, like these like board edges um, with this like type of design I thought it was pretty cute I also got construction paper. Um, I got some tape because I'm not about to glue none of this shit in. Like, we're not about to do that. I'm about to tape everything down. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I got me a pair of scissors because I don't know where my scissors is at. Um, I got these, um, like, stencil letters and numbers. Um, so I'm just gonna be drawing like letters, um, like over them, stuff like that. You know what these do. I was very, like, I was contemplating on either getting this or like letters I could stick onto the vision board. But I think this is, uh, better because, um, like I could save it for next year or for whenever I need to like do letter cutouts and stuff like that. So that worked out good and it's only a dollar. And then I got me some magic markers. Again, from the Dollar Tree because I don't need Crayola, boo. I'm sorry. I love Crayola. But I don't I didn't need the $5 um, marker. I needed the dollar marker so I could get this vision board on and popping. Um, oh, and I also got my laptop right here. I got my laptop, my baby girl right here. I'm going to start printing out my images so that i could start pasting them or like taping them onto my board so that's pretty much all you need you can have magazines if you have magazines around you can print them out like i'm doing you could draw it out um you could sketch it out you could like cut it out like you could do whatever it is that you need to do in order to make your vision board come alive um the reason why i say bring up your journal is because i think it's a good idea for you to journal before you do your vision boards just to have a clear image of what it is that you want to put on your vision board so you can start manifesting and making it come to life something else i forgot to tell you guys is like as you're doing your vision board you know listen to music vibe out feel it out have some fun doing this just make sure that you are doing your goals like your your goals are meaningful and they're achievable like don't be like i wish i could fly because you're not about to fly sis unless you want to play so make your goals realistic to you yourself and like something that's going to benefit you stuff that you want to make um happen so so let's get into what i got in my journal so let's see what i wrote i'm going to share a little bit of uh what i wrote um in my journal just to get you guys like an idea 
all right so so I wrote down all my like what I want in my journal um, well what I wanted on my vision board and I had previously saw a YouTube video um, about vision boards and this girl just pretty much broke it down into categories so the categories I came up with is health YouTube um, money and credit there's other stuff in here that I all obviously want um, but I'm not gonna share everything just because some of the things are really personal to me so those are the main ca um, categories that I have on like that I wrote down so for health obviously we went through a crazy ass year um, so health to me is the most important thing it's been the most important thing that's how I was raised um, with health you can conquer all um, or anything else can come like money finances whatever the case like beauty all of that stuff can come after your health is where it has to be so for my health like I want to obviously eat more cleaner eat more healthy um, and I want my body to be my brand new body like my body went through a completely crazy transition last year after getting pregnant and giving birth and still trying to get back to what it used to be um, I love my body I love everything about it um, I embrace my body so much and I just want to take care of it if you take care of your body your body's gonna take care of you like that's something I've heard all my life and I just think it's time for me to just take that a little bit more seriously and scope my body to what I want it to be um, so I've been doing this for longer than just the start of this year but I do work out five days a week or I at least try to do at least three days a week whether that is like intense hit or like a yoga or um what else like a little mile run or a walk like i know if i don't if i'm not able to run or if i'm not in the mood to run or if i don't have the energy to run i will usually do like a three mile to four mile walk um so i've been doing that and that's gonna stay on my vision board because you know that's just something really crucial to have especially nowadays you want to be as healthy as you can so that whatever comes your way your body could you know combat it and if you um and i also want my family to be healthy like i'm very grateful that um my family is healthy my parents are healthy my baby is healthy my my siblings um my partner is healthy like our family both of our families are healthy like i'm very grateful for that um so that's like the first thing then um i put down youtube obviously youtube is gonna be like the center of the attention for this vision board because i am trying to grow my youtube channel i've been on my youtube journey for god knows too long and it's just time for me to just take my hobby and make it serious like do do it like just just fucking do it my goal is to try to reach um 2500 subscribers by the end of this year I'm going to try, you know, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to do it, you know, I know that once I started getting more consistent and more and uploading more, um, my subscribers, I finally got into the mid hundreds and you know, like that's, that's, that's a, that's an accomplished goal for me. Cause I remember when I used to have like 20 subscribers, five subscribers, and now I have currently like 130. So, you know, that's still like goals those are still achievements that i'm still getting to so my my overall goal for this year is to try to make it to 2500 subscribers so i need you guys to help me out with that i'm going to um so yeah so like i want to just bring in the creativity this year and just start uploading more stuff for you guys whether it be like more mommy videos um hair tutorials like skincare i don't really dabble into the fashion too much because that's just not my lane but like just be more creative on youtube uh so that's like my main goal like that's my hobby like that's what i want to do um then of course we all want money and we all want good credit like my credit is pretty good right now and i just wanted to see it grow i heard that you can get your credit up to 800 so if i can do that within this year that'll be great um when it comes to money i want to pay down my credit card debt but that's just something i think i i would love to get out of the way um 
just you know just so that i can have a less bill to pay like if i don't have to pay my credit cards and that's just income i can either throw into my savings it's just money that i think it's just a bill that i'm i want to see if i could try to get rid of obviously i'm not gonna take it all the way down because um you know in order for me to build in order for anybody to build good credit you need to have utilization of your credit so i'm gonna be bringing down my cards but not to zero like i'm i'm still gonna be utilizing them in order to get me to the score i want when it comes to my credit but definitely want to see if i could eliminate most of my credit debt which is not a lot um so i think it is doable this year so yeah those are the things that are on my vision board my main thing my main focus for today obviously is going to be my youtube because this is the platform that i want to grow um and i'm very grateful for how far i've come like although it might seem very small to some of you guys it's very big to me because i literally started from zero and now i'm i'm at where i'm at and i'm very grateful for the people who are supporting me who the, for the people who help me out with equipment tips and all of that stuff and i'm very grateful to be able to have the knowledge and gain the knowledge that i have gained throughout these years to share it with people because i have friends who who come to me to talk about oh um i want to start a youtube channel how do i do this what's the best way to do that and even if it's not youtube it's like how do i do this content how do i make it friendly for me um to be able to edit on instagram or whatever the case is like i am i am very prideful in the knowledge that i have learned and like the stuff i've gained and the like the trials the errors and all the knowledge i've gained throughout the whole social media thing like i'm very grateful that i'm i have that knowledge and i have the availability to learn it for myself to be able to teach others um so i'm very grateful for that I, I like that i have some friends that actually come to me for content ideas and stuff like that and i'm not even that big like i'm not i'm not even big at all but it's still like people think about me when it comes to like getting content or like figuring stuff out or even tapping into their creative side so that they could start producing more content for their stuff so i'm very grateful for that all right guys so that's it for my video i hope you guys enjoy me doing my vision board but yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram and on twitter at smack talk danny and i'll see you guys in the next one bye